Chilling in here. Chilling. You just hold us on the burp. That's your old crew or what? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna share it. It's not even. Yeah. It's on. It's on. It's on. On you. Yeah. What do you mean? Flip, 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 flip it. around. So, let me show you what I did. What's cool is when you when you have the gap wide enough, when you take out a lot, when you take that all out, you see how wide that gap is? I was able to use regular 10 2 wire. I, just, I didn't have to get any, I didn't have to waste any other special wire for this. So I got my, my, heat, my heat shrink on. That pushes down nice and deep into my wire. Goes nice and deep like that. Okay. Nobody cares. Yeah, they're watching. Nobody cares about these eggs, okay? Well, water to those wells. Alex Bear is watching. Hold on, let me see. So, what I did is I cut it on this side, right? You see how this side looks ugly? So whenever you break it on this side, flip it around. You come over here, like so. Where's our rubber mallet? Just the way I left it. Like I said, man, caulk, if you use caulk or you use cement or something like that, you end up using like eight tubes. You gotta come back the next day and it's a hassle. So I've learned to do this. These cost you like two bucks a piece. Use in here to break it. Use this to kind of like break, help you break it. This ugly piece on the bottom side that we cut and used to break it, but you flip it over so you have a nice flat side. Put that up. As you can see, as you can see, as you can see what that is. Now, let me show you one more thing. I've already showed you. Already. To be sure, you always want to make sure that these turn on. Take your battery, put on the light. Boom, 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 boom. See that? So that's how that looks. That's why. That's why I take that out. Now it could be a pain in the ass to take out, but it is what it is. And now in this case, we're lucky enough where the the joint was deep enough. Piece right here. And then here, break it. Break it like that. See how that 
broke like that. Take it, flip it around. There you have it. So now that looks like before, when before I started, it looked just like that. So, like I said, doing that, and then it looks exactly the same, y'all. So, all right. You know it, man. You gotta have a fresh fade, and you gotta have some fresh glasses, man. <laughs> Oh, you always gotta keep it fade, you know? You're, you're always talking to customers, so I try to always be clean cut. You know what I mean? So, all right. I thought I'd share that little trick a little better with y'all. I used to do it a little differently, so. All right. I hope y'all got something out of, those, out of those. They're two watt, these are 40 degree. Uh, I like using uh. 40 degree well lights on the and see how I, this is how I use my mark when I put my stencil There's a brick I use and I have it on I'm having a lot of videos, but so this is my stencil And I put it, you know, I put it like I put it like right against that, but I, I use this. This is my marker The garage door and you skip the center and then you do the other one And you put the exact one same there and then you're you're good, you're golden. So, anyways, I thought I'd show you how I did that. The bit I have is like three foot. It's a five eighths bit by three feet. You can use whatever you want, honestly, as long as the wire gets through to it. I just happen to use that um, predominantly for my well lights or trying to shoot. So, all right, y'all. I just wanted to share that with y'all and. Uh, Let's all get back to work now. <laughs> all right, later.